Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway. And on the mound today, Zach Wheeler. What do we have on him? Power pitcher. He's going to speed you up with the fastball velocity. And out of his hand will explode the breaking ball. Very difficult for hitters to keep that front side closed and hit the ball the other way because they know if they're not ready to pull the trigger, the fastball will be them. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Ronald Acuna Jr. And he deals. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And one pitch into the inning, it's a leadoff double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Ozzie Albee's up to the plate. in there strike one oh. and there's a ball Acuna stands at second with no outs That one missing inside. Man at second. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. And over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Acuna headed for the plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Comes through with the RBI. That was a thing of beauty. He may have been a little behind the pitch, but by getting that barrel into the hitting zone early on in his swing, he was able to meet it and still shoot a line drive down the line and left. Here's Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. That one's in there. That's strike one. Come on. Riley one used strike. to be a pitcher back in the day, Boog. In fact, fans used to give him a hard time in his rookie ball days because he started the season with a long slump. He'd get messages questioning if he should go back to pitching, but it turns out he made the right choice. The pitch. Fought off foul. Up the middle to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's Brian Snickers lined up for the Braves. A tough challenge in this one. An excellent arm on the mound. Singy, they're going to have to capitalize on their opportunities. Yeah, and they're not going to get a whole lot if he pitches the way that he's capable of pitching. So, you know, be ready to swing from the first pitch. You get something straight, man, you better turn on it. Here is Matt Olson. Popped up left side. Boom. Under it. Two way down. That is it. The designated hitter, Marcelo Ozuna. Here's Marcelo Zuna. And there's a foul ball. One run across in the frame so far, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. There's the strike of the knees. <laughs> Fly. 
flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch, keep the bat alive. That's inside. Two outs. And that's off the inside edge. Two balls, two strikes. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. And the right hander deals. Three, that two. misses the zone. Full count now. Michael Harris hitting on deck circle. see another payoff pitch. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And the righty deals. Bounce to the left side. And oh, foul. foul ball. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Got him. In and over on the strike. Albies with the key hit for Atlanta. And the home team down a run. Back at Citizens Bank Park. And towing the slab in this one, Spencer Strider. Four-pitch guy. He's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later, maybe second, third time through the order, and give them something they haven't seen. It's tough, you know, guys got that in his back pocket. As a hitter, you really have to stay on your toes. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Kyle Schwarber in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Strider, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. That's out to center field. He's got it. One down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team. And I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Turner jumps out of the way of ball one. Pitchers always face a dilemma trying to figure out how to attack this guy. He went with the breaking ball right there, but it feels like that approach might be playing with fire. He loves to go after pitches with a wrinkle in it. That one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. One down, Phillies down a run. Swings and misses, and there are two outs. I love to see guys compete, and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity, and it is hard to catch up to. Bryce Harper stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Left-hand hitter waits. Swinging a foul straight back. Left-hand batter waits. Two and one. That oh, one misses. Ball. And the count is three and one. The right-hander oh, oh, oh. gives up Take the two-out walk. 
close pitch there, but you got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You got to get out of the inning first. And then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. Nick Castellanos stands in now and watches strike one. The 0 1. Really good run, perhaps a little bit too much on that two seamer. Couldn't hold the corner. Base knock right field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. And now it's Alec Bohm. To the left side, but it is well fouled. Takes one right on the black, and it's all two. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the oh. at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. Swing and a miss, struck him out. A lot of adrenaline, we can see it right there, and sometimes you just got to let it out. That's an outstanding job of taking that, executing, and getting out of a tough inning. Second inning set to go. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And a strike in there. That's oh, a real nice cutter right there. I mean, this guy can struggle with the inside pitch at times, so I'd say that's pretty effective if you can continue to command it on that side of the plate. Righty delivers. Yeah, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone is just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. He caught it behind his back. And very nicely done for the out. Two outs, space is empty. And now it's going to be Jared Kellner. And first offering is fouled off. Down, nobody on. That's the ball. That one finds the corner, and the count is one and two. Two out, space is empty. And another ball.
him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Braves one and the Phillies nothing. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom half of inning number two. This is Bryson Stock. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And a quick out number one. Got the pitch that he wanted just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. And now it is JT Real Muto. Pitch is in for a strike. One one. And delivers outside. One and one. One out, base is empty. And that's off the inside edge. And it's two and one. Right through there for a strike. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. Righty to the plate. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that quickly, two away. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Foul ball there. Offering way strike. off the plate. The Phillies down by a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Oh. Next pitch is downstairs. Oh. And another ball. Nice. Swings through that one out in front that time. Two outs. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. to center Harris brings it in and that ends the inning Philly strand one still behind by a count of one to nothing back here Citizens Bank Park on to the third the inning shortstop. here's Orlando Arcia the pitch Arcia, an all-star a season ago, 29 years old, and he was born in Venezuela. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Ground a second. Stott over to first in time. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Doubled leading off the ball game. Then came around to score the first run of the game. That one ripped. 
Marsh calls it in two away. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Albies swings through that one uh -oh. as one he comes to the play for the second time today. On the ground, right side. On the run, throw to first. Yeah, yeah. In time, got him. And that'll do it. Braves go down quickly here, but they hold a 1-0 lead. in today's game and he's usually in the outfield today he's the DH next offering way upstairs you know Bill, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position and if you're playing in open man it's a country mile to get out there so for him to be able to be the DH today that is really a nice day off and Acuna able to make the grab now bad, bad. not sure oh, stop. Stop. here's Trey Turner 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Oh. The shortstop takes a ball. One ball. No strike. The Braves leading by a run here in the last half of the third. Here's a 1-1. One, one. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Harris makes the grab for the second out. The first base hit number three. Bryce Harper to the plate. He reached out a walk his first time. Harper, in his 12th season, a member of the 1,000 hit club. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. And it's fouled away. Breaking ball inside. One and one. That one almost got him. Two down, nobody on. Oh. And another ball. Careful. His eyes got big. He saw that change up way out in front. Better to pull it than to get jammed on something off speed like that. Thank you, man. And he walked him. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you another bat? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Castellanos stands in here, takes ball one low. Maybe losing command a little bit after the walk. Next pitch, not even close. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Move to first. Harper's back in a dive. Two outs. Ball, ball. One misses. Three balls and a strike. Alec Bohm on deck for the Phils. Back to right. Acuna sizes this one up. 
nabs it, and that will end the inning. One left for Philadelphia. They still trail 1-0. Back here in Philadelphia, stepping in the long ball threat, Austin Riley. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. Pitch misses, and that's one ball, ball one. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable, and because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, ball, he's a threat strike. deep into the count as well. A why to kick the pitch. That's Next offering is outside. Two and one. Ripped to short, snagged on a bounce. The throw, yeah. and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. And now it's Matt Olson's turn to hit. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Booga never got to play at Citizens Bank Park in my career. Just the old veteran stadium in Philadelphia. But the crowds here are just as energetic now as they were at that old park. And trust me, as an outfielder visiting town, you're going to hear it from the fans out there in the bleachers. One down, base is empty. Hit hard, base hit. Now that designated hit. Marcelo. Oh, Man at first with one gone. Marcelo Zuna. Next up for the Braves. 0 for 1 so far. Run around the move. This one high in the air to left center. Rojas settles underneath it. Drops into the glove, and there's two away. The bat, the center field, Michael Harris. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. Struck out swinging his first time. Bounced up the middle. And that is the third out of the inning. One left for Atlanta, but they're on top, one nothing. And we're back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Alec Bohm. And a pitch. And there's the strike. You know, these fills oh, do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient bats out of them. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. One and ball. that's in the dirt. Oh, and a swing and a miss. Please. Down on strikes. And that's the first out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And here is Bryson Stop. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Now the 0-1. That one fouled off. Wind in the pitch. One, Ball one there. Home team down a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a ground off the 
middle. That's a base hit. The battle. Dominant performance for him today, Barry. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. JT Real Muto steps in. That one's in there, 0 and 1. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Man at first, one away. Check on the runner, and he's back in there. And a pitch. On the inside corner for a strike. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. And that's just foul. Stop. Stands at first with one out. Foul ball still 0 and 2. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Left fielder Brandon Marsh worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Right side, Olsen handles the chance. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Philly strand one. They trail here, one nothing. at Citizens Bank Park. We go to the top of the fifth. So here's Murphy now. Murphy. Wheeler back to work. In there at the knees for a strike. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Got a good eye there. Bud called the ball. Yeah, that's ball two. And another ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. And now a full count. Is the pitch 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And that's too high, ball four. Here's Jared Kelvin. He's 0 for 1. Swing and a miss. And it's on one. one. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. No one at the pitcher wants a ground ball double play opportunity here. You've got to lay off pitches down in the zone. Right there, swinging at that pitch. That's a no no. The 0 2. On the ground, could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Throw the first, but he beat it. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. And lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Orlando Arcia rolled out to second in his first at bat. Yeah, that's too high. The shortstop takes the ball.
the pitch. That one spoiled and they count now two and one. At the belt and fires. Close one doesn't get the call. Three and one down. Kicks and fires. And he grounds one back up the middle. Stop. Toss the second. What a double play that was. Inning over. Offense held a check there. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves one and the Phillies nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Johan Rojas. The right-hander back to work. That one close, ruled the ball. Ball one. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. The wind of the pitch. And fouled off. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. There's a swing and a miss. One ball. Two straight. Fouls it off. Still one and two. That one missed. That's a really good take. He goes down looking. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Infield shifted to the pole side. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. One down, base is empty. Right through there for a strike. Here's the 0 2. That's down and in. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Here comes a pitch. And another ball. The Braves up by a run. Last half of inning number five. Strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Trey Turner no now. Matter, number seven. Shortstop. One one. No, he's got to be pretty proud of his outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is a tap hitter. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. There's a swing and a drive. Kelman going back on this one. Pulls it in on the warning track. All set for the top of the sixth. Here's a Cunha now. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. And the pitch. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. And that's off the inside edge. And now it's even one and one. Good eye right there. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. They get the out on Acuna. One away. The batter is one. Second base. Ozzie. 
Oh, here is Ozzie Albies up to hit. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. And that one fouled off. Albies, multi-time All-Star, 27 years old, and he's a native of Curacao. Foul ball. And now one and two. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the sixth. Whoa. That one is upstairs. Two ball, two straight. Struck him out looking. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Now yeah, out. he's been very the frugal today, team. economical with the pitch count. Riley. Now in for the Braves, Austin Riley. And first offering is fouled off. of the pitch sharp grounder that's through for a base hit Joey gets on base and keeps it going couldn't have timed it no, up no, any no. better than that just great kept great. it simple played no, pepper no. with the middle of the infield oh, and took it back where it came from and there's just no one there to knock it down and now Matt Olson up to hit one for two and that one Wrapped foul. You'll want. Oh, yeah, there's a ball. Well, it's been a very impressive one outing ball. so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. No. Just off the outside edge. Marcelo Zuna to bat next. Two outs. Late with the swing there. Great right for the ice spot right. here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Now, that doesn't even give it. We all saw it was hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? Statcast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit below was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. Now here is Marcelo Zuna. First pitch misses. Righty delivers. That's Wouldn't chase that time. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Just missed. See if he gives him anything to hit here. And a full oh, pitch walk. It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short. Starting to show some signs of fatigue. So 
Let's see how much longer they let him go. And next for Atlanta, Michael Harris. And that one fouled off. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. you got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Fouled off. He was late. Riley at third. Olsen over at second. Ozuna on at first with two down. And just misses with that one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Right hander kicks deals. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Foul ball still, a one and two count. That one the other way. And makes the play, and that's out number three. And the Braves will strand three, but they still lead it one nothing. Bottom of the six. Here's Harper. Well, no, these fans definitely down. want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. Little chopper rolls foul. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. And a pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Wow, short work to send him back in to start the inning. And no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone. Tackled all the way. And that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. This is outside, and that's ball one. Righty to the plate. That's ripped. Base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. He was all over that one. 112 now miles per hour. The ball seemed to explode off the bat right there. He put everything together on that swing. So that's one of those knocks that feels a little extra sweet. One gone runner at first. Digging in, Alec Bohm. And that's through there for a strike. Deal one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. But they cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Up next to Philadelphia. Bryson Stock stands in for the Phillies. Oh. First offering, and it just misses. Left hand batter waits. Oh, and this is inside. Oh, and that's three. off the inside edge. 3 and 0. Oh. JT Real Muto next to bat for Philadelphia. With the go ahead run at the plate here in the bottom of the sixth. 
fastball for a strike. And it's three and one. Foul ball there. Three two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. And that one ripped to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. One left for Philadelphia. And it remains 1 0. Top of inning number seven. Here's Sean Murphy. Well, he's back out there to begin the seventh. That surprised you at all, Chris? Yeah, a little bit. It was a little rough to sixth inning there, but his skipper's got a lot of confidence in him. But trust me, they will keep a close eye on how he does in this one. That one, one misses. Now one and two. And that just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Man, he's been really good. About to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. Up and in, and a full count now. Outside, oh and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Zach Wheeler won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Out of the bullpen for the Phillies, Sir Anthony Dominguez. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. So now to the plate for Atlanta, Jerry Kelman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Come on. You know, strike. these Braves, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat, and that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Next pitch is outside. Next offering upstairs. Murphy on at first. Nobody out. Left hand hitter waits. Inside just missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. Touches the back for one, whips it to first on the run. Two away. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. I and mean, that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. And make sure you get those two outs. Orlando Arcia, next up for the Braves. Pitch in for a strike. It's 0 1. Right handed reliever. Oh. Stirring in the Phillies bullpen. Connor Brogdon appears to be getting loose. So a foul ball makes it one and two. On 
the ground. A dive. Nice stop. Fires to first. And that's a great play for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop. Completes the play. And that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. So digging in now for Philadelphia. JT Real Muto. Strider back to work. Line drive caught. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. Yeah, you know, yeah. line drives don't always find a hole. Right but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. Brandon Marsh digs in now. This pitcher has done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the batter. Their swings are hesitant, and that's exactly what you want on the mound. The Braves' bullpen has some activity. Ronaldo Lopez getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. Minter, the lefty, warming up as well. Line drive, base hit! This feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And now let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first pitch to over 70% of the guys he's faced in this one. That one hit. not close. And a count one and two. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Over to Albies. Oh. Double play. Yeah. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. We're at the top of the eighth, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. The pitch. And there's the strike. And no, ball one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And here it comes. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He doesn't have a throw, and they come away without an out. Now the number two hitter, Ozzie Albies, one for three. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. The 1 0. And a foul ball. Acuna gets his lead at first with nobody out. Pickoff throw, right. and he's back in easily. Two misses to even the count. Okay. Outside. The pitch. Ground ball to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now got that. Austin. And now, Austin yeah. Riley. Yeah. 
There's the strike. Well impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, then you can play around a little bit more as the, the bat expands. Oh, one down. And that one is inside. And a one two puts it in the air out towards left center. Pulls it in for the out. Now that the first base. Man. Here's Matt Olson. And that's in for a strike. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And now it's even up. Put a layoff that pitch down. Round to third, could be two. Over to second for one. The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. So it's no runs, two hits, no errors, and one left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. It's the Braves one and the Phillies nothing. On to the bottom of the eighth. Here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber. A lot of times you're looking for a guy to get that tie-in run on base, but because of the power, you want him to tie up the game with one swing here. As he turns on the rubber, here with that good live oh. arm delivers. What Way high. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Rysel Iglesias getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snitker. lineup is having a tough time finding a good rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Smoked into left field. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Love how he let that ball travel. Trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Snicker out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Spencer Strider done for the afternoon, and he was very good. They'll be happy with that, no doubt. We'll be back with a new pitcher in a minute. Here comes a new arm for the Braves, Ronaldo Lopez. Number three, Ronaldo Lopez. Making a move at first, entering is the pinch runner, Edmundo Sosa. Trey Turner at the plate. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Lead runner around second. Throw back in as the tying run holds at third. Two on following the double. Everything came together for him. This was a really nice swing. Didn't quite get enough behind it to get it out of here, but once it got over his head in left field, it was extra bases all the way. Really important at bat coming up now. Here's Bryce Harper, known for his late-inning heroics. Top of the zone for a called strike. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The pitch. That's 
a bullet, but it goes foul. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. And the right-hander deals. One and downstairs. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Oh. And another ball. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Harper retired. Both runners tagging. To the play. Oh, Save. And we are tied. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough. And that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah. I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. This one belted deep left field on its way. Gone. A gigantic blast. And they grab the lead in the eighth. It's 3-1. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive and it paid off. Up, up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. So digging in, Alec Bohm. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this huh. one. Splits the plate. Strike one. Already three runs across in the frame here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Pulls that one foul. And he deals. Headed down the line. And that drops foul. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept now coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. He just couldn't find a way to put it in play. Now it's the second baseman. Bryson Stout. Oh. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Man, he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Right through there. Got him. That's the third out. Inning over. But the Phils get two on this blast. Last chance coming up here for the Braves. Closer, Jose Alvarado. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W.
and a pitch. And a foul ball. Alvarado in his seventh season, he features a sinker, a cutter, and he works in a four-seamer. Next offering is in for a strike. And yeah, that skips in the dirt. That one away, still one and two. And now the lefty fouls it off, still one and two. Fly ball down the line. Castellanos on his horse. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. Hit hard on the ground to short. Tosses to first. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Now in for the Braves, Michael Harris. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That misses off the outside edge. He's so solid calms the heart rate of the pitcher and the manager when the ball goes up in the air. You just automatically assume that it's an out every time it's hit in the air. Next pitch is inside, and the count is 2-0. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. And yeah, there's ball four. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches for the walk. And that last one didn't even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. Here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. And they've got the no doubles defense set up. Outfielders playing deep and fielders guarding the lines. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a a ton of baseball as a kid. All right, grounder into the outfield for a nine. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Here comes the throw, and he's safe. So it's first and third with one down. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. He's two outs away. Jared Kelman. Getting ready to hit. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And that one fouled off. Runners at the corners, one away. Here at the top of the ninth. Now this is in the air down the line. Marsh sizing this one up. Squeezes it. Here comes the runner from third. A big run scores on the sack fly, and they trail by one. Sometimes all you got to do is your job, and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play, and a nice job with the sack fly. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Jeff Hoffman. I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, and you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats they can. So it's always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. The Braves down to their last out. Orlando Arcia will hit next. Three ground outs already. He's 0 for 3. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. They're down to their final strike.
This could end it. Got it. And that is the ball game. Well, a three-pitch save. This guy might feel cheated a little bit. Gets in the ball game, wants to show off his arsenal, and really didn't get that opportunity. But I think he'll take it. Whenever you can get that save and do it efficiently, he'll be ready to pitch tomorrow. 3-2 the final score. The Phillies hang on to win it for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chavez saying so long.